Todd? Um, just trying to get some get some art done. Drum up a drum some commissions, and uh, importantly, I'm trying to get through this first chapter of this comic I've been working on, which uh, you have seen the first 25 pages of now. I sure have. My phone does not like loading those massive image files, but <laughs> I will say that they're gorgeous. Uh, so Thank Nick you. is talking about his Patreon, and he just dropped all those pages of his comic on there. So links in the description. Check it out. Nick, you got other things to plug. Plug them, baby. Well, that's, uh, I mean, honestly, that's about it right now. Like, that's where I'm putting my uh, focus. I'm hoping to have some more projects coming up here that I can talk about. But, like, those are all kind of on the back burner. This whole, you know, all the things that are going on right now have kind of slowed down some of my actual, like, professional projects that are... Uh, looming on the horizon you mean like you mean jasmine's terroristic actions have slowed yeah, down yeah. life for the community as a whole because all she's this, selfish all this corona that's everywhere everybody just hey, i'm not selfish it. it's good for the planet i don't even want to hear it oh god don't tell oh, me you're an terrorist. No. i was gonna say i'm an ego terrorist yes you are jasmine you're a bad person and you should belong in jail <laughs> man-made prison everywhere this can't hold me what jazz? I'm sorry. So that I'm like that person that's secretly planting giant trees everywhere, <laughs> and the next 10, 15 years are gonna just grow and just fuck everything up. Your driveways, <laughs> no, your sidewalks. No Nick, roads. I have a very important question for you: Is what sure. the fuck is she talking about? Oh, you know, giant killer trees, man. Come on. I, you didn't yeah. hear that? There was a story about this woman who had like a like a huge like. 30 year old tree and the, her mayor decided that it started cracking the sidewalk so he ordered that tree to be uh removed and she's like that tree was my child and she took revenge on the mayor and secretly planted a bunch of huge trees that are like really hard to remove that'll cost when they're like in 30 years, they're going to be huge, and they're going to cost, like, 15 grand a pop to, like, get them removed. And she planted one in his backyard. She planted one near his front yard. Like, she planted them everywhere. And she's like, in, in, in 30 years, you're going to hate your life because I've planted so many trees that are going to be hard to remove. And couldn't I'm you just revenge. Couldn't you just remove them as they're growing? No, because you don't really notice them until... You'll think they're not that big. That's not if if someone big. planted a tree in my backyard, I would absolutely notice by the time it got taller than the grass. This is a bad plan. This is a bad. Well, she was saying have. the roots are lar are huge. Like the uh, roots are are bigger to get uh, like than. Anyway, this is a show called Let's Die the <laughs> oh, tree wow. Trees Planting Show. Trees. Plus Ultra, go beyond. We're talking about My Hero Academia today. Jasmine, this was your little pupper. Why don't you take it over from here? I'll be right back. I just, I just want to say, I think we missed the chance to segue with Kamui Woods here. Yeah, we really did. Or uh, the girl with the vines that come for her oh, hair. Gosh, yeah, that was season two. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and warn y'all. I'm kind of like... The last time I saw, like, the other seasons was when they came out. So yeah, I'm gonna uh, be I, am, I am right there with you, Nick. I, <laughs> I have not seen it in a while. Uh, I have watched the full uh, last episode for the last season. Yeah. And that was probably a couple months ago. So uh, my memory might be a little foggy, but I'm going to do my best here. Well, let me refresh it for you. A superhero-loving boy without any power is determined to, en determined to enroll in a prestigious hero academy and learn what it really means to be a hero. However, after the quirkless dreamer Zuku inherits uh, the power of the world's best superhero All Might, his hopes of becoming the top hero are now possible. So, the whole anime is based around ever not everyone, but most people have minor, at least have minor quirks like. You might be able to cause, uh, I don't know, a specific type of material to hover just a few feet off the ground. Or you might have something super powerful, like 
you could call upon the power of a tornado and destroy lots of stuff. A black hole? Uh, like, yeah, there's a character named 13 who has black hole mm-hmm. suck. She's great at yep. sucking. She. No, you know who's great at sucking? Recovery girl. Because that's all she does. No, she oh. kisses. Those are big <laughs> smooches. That's not a suck. Oh, uh, she wraps her lips around. Uh, who's, who's good at <laughs> sucking? I guess Sue would be really good at sucking. She's got the tongue for it. Ew. The frog girl. Uh, I do not recommend Googling. Never mind. I'm not following this. Never mind. Never mind. No. Yeah, moving on. No. Yeah. Why, are you, why are you doing <laughs> Don't worry about it. Uh, yeah, man. Curiosity can kill the cat. Absolutely. Like, just skin that fucker hole. So yeah, quirks are basically like a person's latent superpower that manifests usually when they're a child. Um, and a and, way to know if you have a superpower is if you have an extra bone in your pinky toe. Sure. Um, no, it and really is. That's how he I, I found know, out I remember. that his oh, was I, I, what? normal. He didn't have that extra bone. I was bone. not discounting you. <laughs> I was just moving on. I said, yeah, sure. So... And then the world is dominated by hero, hero, superhuman <laughs> corporations that, well, not corporations. I guess it's more like um, agencies, agencies yeah. that the the heroes work through to provide protection to certain areas, blah, blah, blah. And they're celebrities, basically. Yeah, and to a certain extent, you need to go <laughs> through a schooling and training regimen and apprenticeships and things like that. Uh Honestly, there's a lot of parallels, and I know neither of you have read this, but there is a book by, I believe his name is Alexandra Kane, called um, oh, Andrea Carter. Nope, that's not right. Andrea, <laughs> Andrea Vernon. <laughs> Andrea Vernon and the Corporation for Ultra Human Prote- or of Ultra Human Protection, also known, otherwise known as CUP. And it is a comedy series where all the heroes have ridiculous powers and um, you it's basically like a corporate war of agencies against one another. Um, And literally it's about insurance payouts and things like that. And like, Hmm. oh, you can't fight that villain if he crosses the line because that becomes another agency's um, territory. And if you cross that line, we're in deep shit. So it's like it, it's really really funny. The bad guys are aliens, but in their tongue, the name for their species is the jerks. So they're just like, <laughs> yeah, it's really good. Like like they're like bow before us humans. We are the jerks. Yeah, we're the jerks. Seems legit. You a jerk. Really, jerk. And then like jerk. people will be like, "You're a jerk," and they're like, "Yeah, that's right. We are the jerks." It's just really stupid. It's stupid fun. Really good. I highly suggest you check out that book. I don't know which one came first. Probably this anime. But uh, There's also a space puppy. Anyway. By Hero Academia. Uh, favorites. Come on. Let's let's do this. Nick, who's, who's your favorites of any oh. of the peoples? And tell me why. Shoot, man. Like, you... You're, you're just coming out with the hard ones. Um, this, is, this is one of those shows where, like, I feel like mm, the characters, a lot of them are well developed enough that I haven't really like latched onto anyone. Mm-hmm. Um, like, I do, I do kind of, I guess I sort of sympathize with Midoriya the most, um, but I also get why some people like some people really don't like him. Like, uh, and I kind of get it. Like one, this one YouTuber I, I follow, he did a whole 50 minute video about why he doesn't think Midori is a good protagonist. Although part of that, the reason he made it run so long is I think he was trolling because uh, my hero also is kind of famous for having maybe not the most uh, measured fandom in some respects, we'll say. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. um, man, like, I don't know. I'm going to say I empathize with Midoriya, but so many good characters. It's really hard. Like, uh, yeah, uh, just one. Midoriya is the the main is the lead, and, and he's quirkless. And it turns out that All Might, the world's greatest hero, uh, his quirk is passed to him uh, from another person, and he's chosen Midoriya to pass his down to, um, so that he can retire. And that's basically the show. And he's trying to come to terms with his body, like 
starting to harness this insane power. So he's constantly breaking his bones, like channeling his power into like a punch would just shatter his arm into pieces. Uh, so it's interesting. Yeah. I don't see why he's a bad protagonist. He's not any more. He's not any worse than any other young adult, yeah. like anime ma- male character, right? Like he's definitely not more annoying than like Naruto or that yeah. fucking emo guy from Bleach what? or whatever, or <laughs> One Piece. Or excuse me, I know you love One Piece, but I mean, he's not worse than that guy. Uh, like, I, interesting, like, all those characters have, like, they have sort of, like, hidden depth, like, if you're willing to watch. Like, I'm going to I'm gonna be really controversial and make some Uh-oh. Bleach fans hate me and say that, Uh-oh. like, look, I like, um, I, I, I like, well, I, you know, let's not get up on Bleach, because I, I, got, I got opinions on Bleach, which <laughs> I don't, again, I don't dislike Bleach, but, like, it didn't make the same impression on me that did some of the people who were like, you got to watch Bleach, man. I dislike Bleach. I'll say uh, it. I thought it was boring. (laughs) Like, for real, like, the fights are cool, but I don't care. Like, give me a reason to care, and it's just standard anime fare. No disrespect to people that enjoy it. Like, I mean, I'm not a huge fan of Dragon Ball either, but I see why people are so drawn to it. But to me, it's the same... It's the same cycle of, oh my gosh, there's this bad guy who's the most powerful thing on the planet, we'll never beat him, and then you go through four or five phases of him changing into different forms and becoming more powerful, and then someone is always exceeding (laughs) their path. Someone's always, like, going beyond, like, exceeding, oh my god, he's more powerful than is feasible, and then he beats the bad guy, but then the bad guy transforms, and then they go, oh no, he's... he's even more powerful than before, and I feel like half the episodes are screaming and powering up, but that's... That's my... <laughs> and, like, Bleach... What drives me sh- fucking crazy about shows like Bleach and, and Naruto, and to a small extent, My Hero, but I think My Hero's a little better about it, oh, I don't need so much exposition during a fight. Like, god damn, it feels like they're interrogating one another while they're <laughs> in the midst of punching each other to death. Like, it will literally be slow motion, like a fist coming with full of power, streaking towards a character... And then we're going to get a full flashback sequence of when they were a childhood and their, like, vegetable farm fucking died or something. <laughs> and that taught them the, how to never give up. And then fast forward to the end of the episode, they they win. It's, yeah. You I see, suck. what you're running into is the filler effect right there. <laughs> mm-hmm. Because, like, it, especially in Naruto, like, when they do that naturally, like, where it actually was in the manga, like, I dig it. It usually makes sense. But especially when you get into the later seasons and you get into, like, the Ninja War and stuff is just happening, 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 happening. And they start trying to cr- sneak in this filler. It's like, no, there are no stopping places where you can sneak in filler here. Every arc and everything that's going on is relevant to the next thing that's going on. All you're going to do is screw up the entire flow. But we're kind of... We're getting kind of far off from our, My Hero Academia, which I'm well, happy with. I just wanna... Well, I, I mentioned that stuff, and yeah. in part to say, like, I think My Hero does a really good job of balancing itself with what you would call filler. Uh, yeah. Because after Midoriya gets his power and he joins UA, which is the name of the school, it becomes less about him overall, and to me anyway, it becomes more about the class of 1A, yeah. or A1. A1 sauce? 1A? 1A. 1A, 1A, you had it right. So you, these characters, as, as, as the episodes go on, you, you get, the, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to go, Jasmine, I'm sorry. Uh, my favorite character is the class of 1A as a whole and Ooh. their dynamic of, as they get to know each other and their strengths and weaknesses and they become such close friends that, with the exception of maybe Bakugo, who's like the crazy nut job one that just can't handle being beaten. Um, with the exception of him, even Todoroki, who is this really cold, like, you're in my way kind of dude, warms up towards season four to the point where, like, they're all, well, actually, even before that, when he was helping What's-Her-Name come to terms with her uh, confidence issues, like, it just, it's a really, they could never have anything stressful happen to them ever, and I would be content watching these kids uh, help each other through school. And that's what I, that's what I like about it very much is how supportive mm. they are. Uh, a scene I want to point out in specifically um, is 
when Midoriya is struggling with not being able to save somebody and he's like in his own head and they're eating and um oh shoot what was his name uh is it izuka engine legs help me Ida. tenya his name's T- tenya, 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 tenya Ida. Ida. yeah tenya Ida is clearly like reading his body language and just says hey you something along the lines of you can talk to me we're friends after all and like midoriya's realization that his he's not alone and he just starts crying right there yeah. and he doesn't talk about it but he just knowing that he can made the world it's stuff like tender moments like that that really yeah. that really get yeah, me. That, that that got that got me i mean there's a lot of moments i mean some of it may be filler but it the filler goes into like all the characters showing you like what like them trying to grow and trying to become superheroes i mean even bakugo has his his like kind of sweet moments at times i mean when he had his fight with raka you know he he told him like he didn't like he didn't go easy on her he saw that she could be formidable and you know he respected her for that and so that's pretty cool i mean it's an interesting thing that you can see and even with the um evil characters like the villains like they go into their backgrounds a little so you can kind of see, you know, the dynamic of, well, some of them did want to be heroes at some point, but with the stigma around heroes, you know, they weren't able to live their dreams. So instead of becoming heroes, they became that's, villains. That's one thing I want to point out about the show is the villains and their motivations at this point to where I'm at is kind of like weak. Like, like it could be, could have been done better. I totally get like, uh, when hardening guy who is a great character, I forget his name. Um, I don't think forgive- you're towards the love girl yet. Is, <laughs> uh, Nick, is he towards the love girl? I don't think he is. That's pretty. That's um, later. Love girl. Yeah. I don't know what yeah. that means. Yeah, that's actually let's uh, w- w- let's not talk about that more because that was kind of okay. a big surprise thing. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, well, that's the that's the that's the say, second arc in season for, four. If you uh, remember where the gentle uh, criminal. But that's that's another <laughs> thing with what I was saying, Nick, with the criminal thing. So. Yeah. So yeah. Well, you got you got some to look when, forward to. I'll put it that way, Brad. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, when when Hardening guy was fighting this street thug who took some drugs to enhance his quirk, uh, uh they that guy brought up a good point. Like, oh, like my quirk is totally useless. So like I'm cast aside, and like I have to do what I got to do if it you know breaks the law. So a lot of these. A lot of the villains have powers that are really fucked up. Like, and you can't control that. You're born that way. So, some of them know. Some of them are, were turn were made evil. Like, whether they were raised that way or chose to be that way. But like, for instance, Himiko, who is definitely one of my favorite characters, when she, her power is to transform into people after drinking their blood, something that's not inherently useful unless someone's willing to give up their blood willingly and um i totally see why she she honestly she, let's be honest she's the best character in the whole fucking show because she's so fucking nuts <laughs> in like the best way like she is compelling yeah i know a couple people who are seriously into yandere but like i'm sorry that's not that's not really that's not what i go for i mean much, Brett, i can kind of see what you're going with uh except i'm thinking of a different character and give me a second <sighs> i'm trying to figure out what his your name favorite is. character is <laughs> no, it's not my favorite character, but it does remind me. Uh, he's from the second. He's from the the regular general education department. Uh, Shinso. Eraserhead. Like, like, no, Shinso. He could, you know. Oh yeah, he could the say guy, a word. Yeah, and, I love Shinso. I was trying to remember yeah. his name. It's the guy, the one Everyone that can give you answers. Everyone said your power would be great if you became a villain. Like you could oh, make people do this. Oh, that guy. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, he's trying his best. He's trying to become. A, a hero, and I think that his story could be pretty. Like, I think his story is going to be really great if they build up on that. I'm sure they will eventually, because he's still at the school. Yeah, well, he he's in two class two A now, I think, because yeah. anyone in the general education can get moved to the hero class. Like, he's not like a battle type hero. He's the type of hero that could help in any number of other ways. You mm-hmm. know, like if someone's on a rooftop getting ready to jump or something like that. 
they could definitely expound upon that. Um, It'd be great uh, in police interrogations. Yeah, that's, for sure. That's why. That's why. Turn them loose on the League of Villains. What is your plan? Oh darn! <laughs> well, yeah, I like, tell you. like oh crap, they and figured us out. And that's why I think it's cool because they bring that up, and it also brings in more to more insight on villains in that world. Yeah. Because I mean, everyone gets so, told you had a power for a villain. Come villains. Are either of you disappointed that what's his face from the League of Villains with the hands all over him? Were you disappointed to find out that his quirk was not that like all those hands like crawl around like the thing? <laughs> mm. And like yeah. Still- I'm not gonna. S- oh, go ahead. I, I didn't think that that was his quirk, but yeah. I could have sworn it was. I thought he was gonna like control people's hands so yeah. that they I, start punching themselves in the face. I don't want to spoil anything. I know what it, I know what the hands are. I already looked it up. No, 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 no. I, I'm talking about, about him himself as a character. Uh huh. So okay, so let me, you know let me. Who he is. Yeah, they should have revealed that back in season three. Yeah. Well, I know who his who his mother was. Is that what you're trying to get at? Yeah. Yeah, I already know. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Actually, let's take a second and figure out where everybody's. Is anybody reading the manga? Nope. No, but I do know a couple of things from the manga because okay. Adam has told me a couple of things. I mean, I go I go on Wikipedia deep dives here and there if something piques my interest. Like hand guy, I had to know why the fucking hands, and it's really weird, and I don't like it. Um, <laughs> So I figured out what the hands were. Okay, see, I am I am only current as of the end of season four, and I try to avoid looking up anything mm-hmm. that hasn't been shown yet. I'm sure a lot of people will be like, "Oh, why don't you go read the manga?" It's honestly, I can't do it. yeah, I have I have attention issues, and oh God, I would be reading that on my me. computer screen, and that would be a nightmare for me. Like I can please read some tell stuff. Me that you're one of those people, and I'm one of these people. If I watch an anime. First, I cannot read the manga because it's just it's it's too different. I just can't do it. If I I can if I read the manga, I can watch the anime. But if I watch the anime, I cannot read the manga because I feel like things get messed up. I uh, I wouldn't say I'm like that. I get that though. Uh, for me, the big yeah. issue is that the the full the full the full effect of having voice acting and music and motion mm. and everything like that's that. Um. Excuse me, but the manga is so much better. You're missing so much story context that you don't even understand what you're talking about. Okay? Ah, I see that my hero toxic fandom has shown up. Yeah, okay? And we need the one girl to be super naked. The fact that her boobums are covered means she can't create items from her boobums because they're covered. We need more skin on the soap, and I'm tired of this PC master race running the world. You okay, Minetta, the- we understand. Okay, <laughs> okay Minetta. Oh, that's, that's the other question. Who's who's watching the dub? Who's watching the dub? I've watched uh, both. Okay. I watched the dub up until the, there's like a point in season four where the only thing you can find is the sub, which I'm fine. Okay. Which I just wanted to say, like, Minetta having a lisp, because I tried to watch some of the... Mm-hmm. the some of the dub, and it's a, it's a solid dub. I ain't gonna lie. Like, some dubs I really hate. Uh, I'm more of a subs guy. I'll go ahead and say that. I I, I respect dubs, but I like giving dubs. Mineta arbitrarily a lisp bothers the heck out of me. Like, yeah, yeah, like, he definitely has one. Does he? Yeah, yeah he it's... really does. Really does. But, um, I just like All Might's dub. It's <laughs> really was, good. Chris Sabat is pretty great. Although I will say the only thing I was re- I was really disappointed in was uh, there some of the great English that he has in the Japanese like the episode like and they just rewrote some of that stuff to other stuff and I'm like come on. Like when All Might goes, "Oh my goodness." It's just like that's that's peak culture for me. But <laughs> um did, did they ever explain I know that he goes to America for some reason when his youth. Is that why when he comes back to Japan as a blonde Japanese man with black pupil, tattooed pu- pupils, uh, he has, like, Detroit Smash and New Hampshire Smash mm-hmm. and United States Smash. Like, is that the reason why? Because he loves America? I think I, he I might know. be half... I think he might be from America. I think. But he's from Japan. 
Mm-hmm. And it's it's said that he went to America, so, I guess, for his apprenticeship or something like that. Yeah. I uh, thought that he is... was half Japanese. I don't know. Does does anybody have the have a have a oh, have gene? Hold on, I might be able to. Yeah, I mean, I, we don't have to, but yeah, I was just that's curious. That's just something that always I thought was strange, like because I thought from the outset of the show that he's American, but then later they're like, oh no, like he's Japanese. He has a Japanese name. name. Nori, yeah. Yeah, like I'm like, oh okay, well maybe he's supposed to be American with a Japanese name because people from people can have Japanese names in America, and they're like, no, he's J- he's Japanese, and I'm like. I'm so confused, then. Why is he, like, American smash... Like, views and American smashes? It's just... It's strange. Why wouldn't you make him, like, a Japan Japanese... No. Like, so Tokyo reading, smash! You know what I mean? I'm reading it, and people say that he just loves American culture. And he uses that as his theme. Okay. Of, like, of being a hero. That's cool. I can dig it. He just loves America. No, nah, fuck yeah. America. Heck yeah, sorry. Fuck yeah, you're allowed to cuss on this show. Okay, cool. Jasmine? I, I... Yeah. Who was your favorite, yeah. did you ever say? No, <laughs> I, I didn't get to say. My favorite is probably... We haven't really seen a whole lot into his story. Uh, Tokiyami, I think his name is. No, that's not it. Hold on. Yeah, Tokiyami's the bird guy. And that's yeah, yeah, back. yeah, that's the that. Yeah, He's one of my favorites. Oh, yeah. With is that with Dark Shadow? Yeah. Yeah, with Dark okay. Shadow. Uh, yeah. Like it's kind of interesting, like how he was like a serious but like kind of normal character. Like the further it goes, the more he's got these weird quirks about like revelry in the darkness. It's like, what are you even talking about over there, bro? <laughs> like, so I, I love it though. I love it too. I like also like how um, he like his quirk is the manifestation of another being within him. <laughs> It's so bizarre. Wait. Oh, you said it's bizarre? Yeah. Oh, darn it. You know, I, I forgot. Like, you, you probably haven't watched JoJo, have you? No, I haven't. But, all right. I was going to make a joke about stands and... But, um, it's, yeah, he's one of my favorites, and I'm trying to... And then I really like uh, Eerie. I mean, she's a new character, but I really like her. Oh, Which one yeah. is she? Oh, One Horn Eerie, Girl? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. One Girl, One Horn? That's my favorite mm-hmm. video on the internet. Um, and I mean, there's a bunch of other characters I'm excited about to learn more about, like you know, Rabbit Girl. Like, I'm really excited. Oh, I just saw her in the credits. Like in the credits, they had like school photos, and there was like a Rabbit Girl. Uh, and and I really enjoyed uh with my lady friend going over like because we paused on all these pictures, seeing if we could pick out who was who, and we definitely saw Himiko. In a school uniform with some other school kids, I and mean, she actually looked happy and not crazy. So we're like, "Oh shit!" Like we're gonna find out why she's a nut job. So we're yeah, really I guess the question that. there is whether that is like one of those like things where they're like, "Oh, we'll just draw some stuff," or whether that's like all canon hints. Yeah, yeah. because sometimes it's just off the wall shit that yeah. doesn't matter at all. No, yeah. I I think that some of it is real because I because of the second arc thing, Nick. There was a yeah. picture, and I mean, it kind of went through that backstory of that person. So I think that a lot of that might be real. I think that adds more to the so. characters. Going back to Dark Shadow Guy, because uh, most kids get their start to develop their quirk when they're a child, yeah? Mm-hmm. Like, uh, like around, what, K-, K through 3 or something like that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Can you imagine being a human child... And then waking up one day with a crow for a face. <laughs> what about what about uh, Tam- Tamaki? Amajika? What if you just one day ate octopus and then all of a sudden you woke up and had octopus arms? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, that guy, yeah. Oh, he's pretty great. Oh, he's gross. Like, I just, I hate oh, sushi yeah. and so there's some There's some horrifying quirks in this series, which I'm coming to respect <laughs> more and more. Like, muscular and, like... Oh, yeah. Series. Oh, the penis-looking guy? <laughs> he's <laughs> that's real what gross. he is, dude. <laughs> he looks like a penis. Come on. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, I'm... I mean... You no, know, like, <laughs> like, for instance, um... Shoji anim- has a weird one. Honestly. Anima... Anima looks weird. He looks like a weird shark-headed man. But they did a flashback with him and his mom, and his mom looks just like that. So I wonder if when he was born, he looked like a normal human child, and then 
Like, for years, she's like, you're going to look like me. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, and then one day, he wakes up, and he looks just like Matt. But they yeah, have, like... They haven't explained. Like, I do wonder if, like, certain traits, just because, like, like cat the people, genome... Too. Yeah, the genome is just so whack. Are you talking that... about the wild, wild pussy cats? There's a... No, no, I'm not talking There's about some literal cat people. Those I've are seen some... In yeah, one of the police officers literally is a cat. Yeah, I, know. I, right. I remember it. that. Oh, yeah, the, the chief of police has the dog head. Yeah, and so did it well. these <laughs> were children. These were children that literally woke up one day and they were a different animal. They were like just an yeah. animal. They looked in the mirror and probably screamed. Now what I really want to know uh... whether those traits are, if that is something that appears later, or if some traits. Well, they like, say just... that their quirks don't appear until they reach a certain age. It's just like, a question of whether, because, yeah, you know, Tokiami has a bird head, but that's not, like, his quirk is to have the bird ghost, the stand. Spooky stand. Well, it's a part uh, of his. The way he looks is a part of his quirk, I would think. Yeah, you see, that's a, that's that's what you have to do. Some if try. you always just read the manga, you know the answer. <laughs> what about uh, the guy who uh, has cameras that just pop out of every part of his body? <laughs> what was that guy, man? He runs uh, my favorite website on the dark web. Oh my gosh! Honestly, that just freaked me out. Just we need to take a break. Out of his arm. Oh, that's right. Do we have sponsors? Some break for sponsors. Now, Actually, some weird ones. Uh, it's a second uh, class two A. Uh, there's this guy who looks like a praying mantis. He's got a praying mantis face. Oh, there's like even um, I can't remember. It's from the uh, the rival school. He has like a robot head. <laughs> Oh god, yeah, I think I remember that guy. Oh, yeah, that yeah. dude, the meatball guy. Ugh. Oh yeah, <laughs> he's actually yeah. I like I find him really amusing, but his power is so gross. It is really gross. Uh, I haven't seen this. But I'm looking at characters. I'm looking at characters in the uh, anime, and I I haven't seen this, but there's this. I don't know who it is, but it's literally like a snake with red hair. It's just a snake. It's like a, a gray snake, and it's got wild, bushy red hair. That's all it is. And it's, and he's wearing people clothes. And he's got a, <laughs> a snake neck and a snake face. Like, what is that? Didn't Sue have, like, a friend from an old school who was, like, a snakehead girl? Or am I, I am no losing idea. my fucking mind? I have no I idea. I swear I watched this. I just, I, I mean, it's just so crazy. I mean, everyone, it, I like, it. it's so cool because each character is like, in, like, so themselves. And they're like, they're just individuals. And each individual just grows. And it's, it's really awesome to see. Well, speaking of individuals, uh, these individuals are going to take a break right now. And when we come back, we're going to play a little game. Sweet. Woohoo! Plus and you read the manga and you know more about it. <laughs> hey, go beyond next time on Let's Die Plus Ultra. Plus Ultra. Hmm. Save the My Hero discussion and, when we come back and welcome back it's like oh my gosh i could just talk about this forever even when we're not recording jasmine oh my god i'm so sorry my quirk is that i do things that 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 are off the camera i just don't know how to shut up <laughs> jasmine what would your quirk be if you could have a quirk what would you what would it be i don't know I honestly have no idea what my perk would be. You can't ask Perfect. me right off the top of my head. Perfect. Ask Nick, have you have given, given this any thought? Shoot. I mean, see, see, there's a difference. You see, there's like, what, what quirk would I want to have as a person? What quirk would I want to write on a character? Like, that would be, those are two different questions for me. Like, and you for me personally. Answer. Yeah, no, for me personally, if I was going to have a quirk, it's going to be whatever quirk means i don't have to put up with all this bs i don't i don't even know <laughs> all the BS uh, teleportation life. or you maybe you're deaf good. maybe you're deaf <laughs> super deaf you can hear in echolocation instead oh no that'd be worse so the power just pro have the power to skip over stuff that you're not yeah with. so how about this uh we're gonna play a little game like we sometimes do 
you guys are going to Hero City, baby. Uh, yeah. You guys... <laughs> You both are new, freshly enrolled heroes in the UA, uh, whatever that stands for, Academy, with a bright future ahead of yourselves. Each of you will be given a quirk at random, since you can't think of one yourselves, um, and then stuff's going to happen, and we'll see if you can defeat the big bad villain. I don't know who that's going to be. It's me. I'm the big bad villain. Spoilers. So I have with me here is a D and D dice twenty, otherwise known as a D twenty, and I have here a list of various quirks. Oh wow! <laughs> some of them were randomly generated uh, by the interwebs, and some of them were created by me. Uh, it's mm, let's just see how you do, shall we? Yes. Here we go. Uh, Jasmine, for you, you rolled a 16, which means your skin is made of glass. Cool. <laughs> I'm so sorry for your luck. Wait, am I a little pardon? Am I like tough glass or am I like super fragile glass? Let's I, I, I leave it to your interpretation. I guess if when you were, your, your filler backstory would be you are so fragile. People would be mean and bully you and break you all the time. But now that you're strong, you can grow I glass. Cut like exactly. <laughs> M Night Shyamalan wants to know your location. Uh, Nick. Yes. Your power is magma blitz. You got a good one. Oh boy. You got a really good one. So, yeah, that's that's pretty dope. So I'm assuming that you can. You're kind of like Iceman when he flies around on his ice path, only with magma. God, you know that's that's a that's a dude in there's a dude in One Piece with that power, and like the whole fandom okay. absolutely hates that guy. He's the biggest. <laughs> now you're that guy. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, you are. Time to become a fascist bastard. Okay, I'm gonna cut some bitches. <laughs> <laughs> and myself. Ah, <laughs> All right. All right, you two are on patrol together uh, when suddenly a massive explosion occurs just a few, just a, the next street over. Um, you guys round, round, round the corner, round the corner to see two massive pneumos, which we didn't explain what pneumos are, but they're Oops. basically they're basically monsters that have multiple quirks. Yeah, they've been cobbled together from a bunch of different quirks by a very bad dude. By a very bad dude. Badass of dudes. Very bad indeed. Um, so, bad. there's two Numos, and they're attacking innocent people. You don't know what their quirks are yet. Uh, however, there's also a villain perched atop the... Uh, Perch to top the building above you. And it's me. Oh, no. <laughs> you never saw that coming, did you, heroes? My name is Monkey Arms Brett because my quirk is I have monkey arms. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, 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 I do my best not to laugh. I have muscular, hairy monkey arms on an otherwise Norman human torso. Good luck defeating me in my pneumos, human hero peoples. Clearly, my backstory was I had monkey paws, and uh, even though I was popular with the ladies, um, I was made fun of relentlessly. Oh, good times. So uh, there's two pneumos and myself, and you guys are, are what are you going to do? There's, there's bystanders everywhere, I might add. Uh, let's see. Um, I'm gonna try to can can I can I use the magma powers to like build some walls to protect the bystanders? Oh, very nice. Let's see. Dome them in. Dome the gnomes uh, in. You manage to create a molten wall of stuff that cools very quickly and rapidly to form a solid wall. Awesome. Uh, this this effectively shields some of the um, people and gives them time to escape. Uh, and separates them from the line of sight of one of the pneumos. 
However, the other Numo is uh, not next to that spot where you raise the wall. He's instead looking at Jasmine, and he is going to charge her. Jasmine, what are you going to do? I'm going to do my ultra move, the disco ball, and I'm going <laughs> to jump up really high, spin around, and confuse the Nomu and blind him because I am using my glass skin as a light-reflected thing. I have, okay. I have an important question. How long have we been working together? Am I am I ready for this? Uh, yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. you okay. have you have your ultimate move. How about that? You've gotten to that point of your training. Okay. That you've created. All right. Uh, I meant more in terms of like, am I going to get blinded too? Because I wasn't expecting. No, this. no, no, no. We fans. Okay. okay. I ah, the okay. disco ball, man. Uh, Jasmine, that is successful. Uh, rays of glittering light spray across the battlefield and effectively blind the Numo that was targeting you. It is uh, stumbling about in a daze. Uh, the one that was blocked off by the wall uh, attempts to um, uh, uh, smash it with his bare fist. However, your molten, your hypercooled molten lava rock wall uh, withstands the blow. Uh, I'm going to laugh maniacally. <laughs> Heroes! You're no match for me in my villainry. <laughs> and 17. I successfully poop into my hand, and I throw it at Jasmine. It splatters upon her, effectively ending her ultra move and uh, causing my Numo to uh, be unblinded. Nick, you're up, buddy. Uh, hmm. Let's see. This is... Uh... How, how, how are the what, is, how are the what does lava do to glass? That's my question. It doesn't melt. It doesn't melt. It does it. Uh, it would be probably a lot harder than it would. Uh, glass can absolutely melt. Yeah. yeah. So. Okay. Desert glass. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I don't. I'm not going to try to clean clean off the crap with. Desert glass occurs when lightning it, strikes sand in the desert. The I'm not. I'm not willing to find this out. Or <laughs> like not right now. Uh, <laughs> Let's see. Uh, how, how, how are the civilians doing? Like, are they getting away? Um, the ones that you shielded have, in fact, gotten away. There's, I would say, still another small group of them next to, like, around the Numo, like, attempting to get away from the Numo where Jasmine had blinded it and dazed it. All right. Well, I'm going to try to... Uh, to give to continue giving them a chance to get away, I'm going to... Try to, I'm going to throw. Can, can I like uh like create some hardened rock spikes and like throw those? Is that a thing that I can do? Sure. Uh, I would say you would be able to, according to this role, summon uh, a, a magma into the form of a spike, like you are some kind of wicked firebender, and l allow it to hypercool to the point where you basically have a spike made of lava. Yeah. And what are you doing with that? I am. I am. Uh, I'm going to try to. Uh, you try to fire it at the new Nomu. You're going to try and chuck it like a uh, javelin? Yes, essentially. Well, apparently you did really bad in that uh, test at, uh, on your first day of class. Uh, you, you managed to throw it, and it lands harmlessly at the feet of the Numo. This has gotten that Numo's... Am I saying Numo correctly? Is it <laughs> Nomo or Numo? It's Nomo. It's Nomo, I'm sorry. I, I, did, I didn't just want to interrupt you and correct you, because, like, listen Numa, to Numa. what's funny here. Numa, Numa, here... No, ma ha, no, ma ha, ha. No, say it again. No, moo. No, no, moo. No, moo. Like, no, moo. Ten, you're telling you're the cow, cow not to make Tell the cow. Noise. No, yes. don't you dare moo. No, um, moo. He, he's, he, he's now, you've now gotten, ooh, he's got, you've gotten his attention now. Uh, uh, excellent. Yeah. Uh, he, uh, by the way, I forgot to mention, this particular uh, Nomu has a head of a demon, which uh, he also charges oh, wow. you, Nick. Somehow I didn't uh, notice that. Yeah. <laughs> well, you were too focused on the first no uh, Nomu that was targeting the civilians that you built the wall. Yeah. Uh, he's still there as well. So this guy's going to charge you, and he's going to get in real close. Uh, but not before the other one... Oh, boy. 
it, his first quirk that you've now noticed is he has an abnormally, abnormally, abnormally large mouth with which to grimace with because his quirk number one is in fact something called grimace. And so he frowns very unhappily at you successfully. Uh, so Jasmine, you're up. Uh, I am going to um, essentially... How close am I to both new moves? Am I close to them? Uh, well, as I recall, you had jumped in the air to be glittering, uh, shining with poop dookie disco rays. Ball. I moved disco ball. Uh-huh. And so now you've landed covered in dookie. Are there civilians near me? Uh, there's some, but they're not in immediate danger at the moment. Uh, right now, Nick is the one being targeted by uh, a really mean frown and, and a demon bullheaded one that is charging him. Okay, so essentially I'm going to, I'm going to assume that I can do this because my body's made out of glass. Uh, I'm going to basically shoot my outer skin, like darts, like shards of glass at the Nomus. Uh, like you whole, like the whole skin because it just regenerates. Cause it's uh, okay, well, you do, but you hit Nick by accident. Oh, no. <laughs> so, Nick. <laughs> oh, Nick, uh, that's gonna, it's gonna cut you deep. Like, you're not close to death. You're not gonna bleed out, but it hurt. It hurt I'm quite sorry. a bit. I will say, I'll tell you what. I will say that the force of the, the the bot shot was enough to propel you just far enough so that the demon head no Nomu uh, just grazes you and misses you. Uh, <laughs> heroes, prepare to die! I uh, am then going to hurl another batch of feces, but this time at Nick, hoping to hit him in his open wounds. Yeah. Uh, lucky for you, I missed, but Pooh does splatter... Uh, the no Nomu that making is making the grimace like so now he's ultra frowning, plus <laughs> ultra frowning. Um, so now he's covered in dookie. Nick, you're up, buddy. All right. Um, I. You use... might have closed your wounds. Yeah, I was gonna say I use uh, I use uh, my lava powers to uh, create some kind of reinforcing layer or armor or something over my That's body. dope. That's a good idea. This is a good character you're coming up with right now. Like lots honestly, of lots of spikes. It's got to be totally metal. Uh it is well, I I'm happy to report that uh you have succeeded. You are covered in basically what looks like a Mad Maxian road warrior <laughs> armor with spikes like for shoulder pads. Like you look like Spawn but less 90s and more uh rock monster center of the earth lava man um nice. you look like the shredder if he was covered in lava rock you look <laughs> like a fucking badass that no one wants to fuck with so good job sweet uh the demon headed nomu turns around however and oh, no. he's none plea to please you're gonna find out his second quirk right now of course it, it, he is going to form a arrow of ice and launch it at you. Uh, and you dodge it easily. It's not quite fast enough to match your reflexes, and you're able to dodge it this time. Jasmine, what you doing? Well, um... So it doesn't really sound like my quirk is going to be good here. Mm -hmm. So what did I say? Uh, you still don't know what the other Nomu does. Like, they have multiple on. quirks. Okay. Yeah, I'm made out of glass. I highly doubt that I'm going to do anything. Uh, can I try to trap the two Nomus in a dome of glass? I mean, you could try to, uh, you could try. I mean, I, mean, I don't see why you couldn't it, try. I'm imagining this huge dome of glass, and, like, it's all reflective, and, like, they can see their reflection in the mirror, which will make them confused. And then while that's happening, I'm going to use my, my, my skin. You're making a, a, and I'm going to 
Okay, hold on. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Stop. I can never play D and D before. Doing way too much at once. You know, it'd be cool is if you successfully made the dome and then Nick was able to control his temperature as such that he doesn't melt the glass and then just fills the whole dome up with lava. That would be pretty dope and therefore trapping the Nomu in lava, but forget I ever said that. Um, Jasmine, you managed to create a glass dome, uh, a moderately thick glass dome around the two Nomu. However... The grimacing Nomu that's covered in poo-poo, uh, he's going to use one of his quirks right now, uh, and it's called Earth Assault. He starts making the ground around him shake with such violent uh, vibrations that it causes your glass dome to shatter, and now it's raining sharp shards of glass, which luckily miss you, hits Nick. Um <laughs> However, it doesn't affect him because of his armor, so you got lucky there. Yes. And it hits the other Nomu, the demon-headed Nomu, uh, which does a little bit of damage to it. So, uh, <laughs> That was a weird choice, heroes. I don't know who you two think you are, but I'm going to call you Glasshole, and I'm going to call you uh, Magma Asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I respond very maturely by saying, no, I know you are, but what am I? I am going to leap from the building from which I am heckling you to with my giant monkey arm of doom, and I'm going to come in with a massive monkey palm fist face to Nick's face. Oh, no. We, need to, we, may, we might need to get some backup here. Uh, I hit you, but thanks to your armor, it's kind of mitigated. However, like, I did crack, like, the faceplate of your armor. So Ooh. you went unscathed, but not scot-free. Nick! Yes? What's up, pup? Um, well, I just got punched in the face. So... You did, by a monkey-armed me. <laughs> uh... Let's see. What what are our, what are our objectives in terms of uh, doing property damage or damage to? Uh, try Always to try to limit zone. the property damage. If you can't avoid it, then you just try to do it in yeah. one area. And if you can't have your quirk doesn't do anything to the enemy, you should wait for backup or call for backup. Which is what I was trying to do, but Brad didn't let me do it. No, because you were trying to take 40 actions at the same time. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. You created uh, a dome. That's in a an real action. Battle, in a real battle, we would be able to discuss it. We would work together and uh, stop it not one at a time. We, we'd also get your full backstories. So you know what? Now that it's Nick's turn, Nick, give us your full backstory. It's slow motion. Your faceplate is cracked. Let's hear about your trials and tribulations and how you're about to overcome them. Um... They're, they're, you're putting me on the spot here. They're they're super <laughs> interesting, or maybe they're not. They might actually be really boring. Like in that moment, you realize that it was actually really boring, and we skipped that scene. All right. So that uh, was very so uninspiring. So what ended up <laughs> happening was, in response to that, I've taken my monkey tail, wrapped it around the underside of your arm, and have flipped you towards Jasmine. Uh, now you're mid-flight towards Jasmine. The Numo that fired the ice arrow at you, uh, is gonna call forth another quirk. Let's see which one it is. Uh, is gonna use his demon head, so he's, like, pawing the earth with his, with his foot like he's a bull, and he's charging. So, Jasmine, you have a airborne Nick and a demon-headed Nomu charging you. What are you doing? You're also covered in poop. No, I'm not. I'm not covered in poop anymore. Yeah, glass hole you are. No, I'm not, because I shed my glass and I threw it at the Nomu. Oh, alright. You know what? I'll give you that. Fine. I had said it. I, um, I am going to... I'm sharp. I don't. I can't catch him. Uh, yeah. yeah, please don't stab me anymore. <laughs> I'm trying not to. I'm just going to try to get out of the way, and I'm going to use 
um, my, I guess my hand or arm or whatever, reflect light and call and like do like a, it's not a Batman signal per se, but it's like a signal that we need assistance to, for other uh, heroes to come. So you're hoping to reflect light to form a signal light in the daytime. Is it day? I never said it was night. You know what? Let's roll for it. Uh, it is, in fact, daytime. No, wait. Yes, daytime. You still want to do that? No, I mean, I you could try signaling the uh, the helicopter that's flying, buzzing about overhead, the news chopper. No, I'm not going to do that because then I'm going to blind them and they're going <laughs> to... I mean, maybe. Uh, right to the side of Billy. Maybe that's exactly if you, what Brett wants. Brett maybe if you got a good role, maybe if you got a good role, then you knew Morse code and like heroes that are watching on TV be like, they need help. We'll be right there. Uh, but I don't know. Well, there's chaos erupting. Uh, is, I mean, can you give us a little, a little bit here? Like, are there other heroes coming? Like, I don't, I don't know. No. No. Nope, it's just you two. You two and two Nomus and me. That makes no sense. We're in the middle of a town. My, you didn't even ask what my villain name is. It's Monkey Hole. (laughs) I have arms like monkeys, and I'm capable of throwing my monkey hole material at you with them. (laughs) With all the strength of a normal monkey. (laughs) Jasmine, I need you to do something. Um, Glass hole, know. do something. I'm gonna dodge. Uh, kind of. Nick clips you, and you both go tumbling to the ground. Uh, the other Nomu is gonna use a quirk. Uh, he is going to open his grimacing mouth and unleash. The final of his three quirks, uh, bugs of all varieties start pour, pouring from his mouth. Like he's puking, like vomiting a swarm of bugs, and they are flying towards you all. It's pretty gross. Keep in mind, I didn't create any of this. I randomly rolled both Nomu's sets of three quirks and my own. So... There you go. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I guess I guess Nick, you're you're back up again, huh? Yeah. Sure. Um, I'm going to try to thwart the bugs with a with a with a wall of lava. Ooh, is is that hot still? Oh yeah, no, I'm I'm roasting those duckers. You successfully kill them all. Good. One hundred percent. In the in the in the Spirit of moving this along. Do you want to do like a secondary thing? Um. Yes, I, I'm trying to think how to articulate this. Um, With words. Well, I mean, yeah, but which ones? That's the question. Oh. Um, I wish our quirks were more compatible. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't think they're not. I don't think they're incompatible. I don't think that's I just don't think you two are very creative. Ooh, oh. shit. I have I don't have a lot of space to... <laughs> I said that to the comic book artist and the graphic design person. Oh, I'm no. not a graphic designer anymore. I'm a business analyst. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen anything in years. Look, business is an important part of the heroing business, okay? You actually have been doing that role very well in, in, in reminding us about mitigating damage and stuff. But how does that help me in a fight? I use my monkey arm to pick up the nearest um uh 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 what what is what is that thing called that Deadpool drives? Oh, I just had an idea. It's like a scooter, but it's not a scooter. A Vespa. A Vespa. He picks up. I pick up a Vespa and I throw it through the nearest store window. Uh, you have monkey arms. Those are not strong enough to lift up a vehicle. Excuse me. Off. Are you sure about that? Do you know how strong chimps are? Like, if I can rip the skin from your skull of your face, <laughs> well, look, I can up. pick up a fucking Vespa. A 
chimp pick up <laughs> you really Vespa. Type. How strong is a chimp? An adult male chimp pulled about the same weight as an adult man, see? An adult man can't pick up a car like that. I didn't pick up a car. I picked up a Vespa. <laughs> I'm sorry. Chimpanzees have been shown to be about four times as strong as humans comparable in size. So, ergo... If the chip arms were the size of a man, me, i.e. me, which they are, four times stronger than a man. I can absolutely pick up that Vespa and throw it through a store window. Jasmine, quit, quest, quit stalling for time and do something. Okay, is there a grocery store nearby? No. <laughs> uh, am I allowed to do anything or am I waiting it's my turn? urban or environment. You see someone just... with a packed lunch. Are there any bananas nearby? No, not that I'm aware of. <laughs> No, there's not. <laughs> no bananas. You know what? Uh, I'm going to attempt to... Uh, uh, you took too long. No, no moon number two uh, with the demon head uh, sails past you, but as he does so, he manifests an ice arrow that he flings at you, Jasmine. It shatters upon your glass skin, but doesn't really do anything. Do you want to do something now? Sure. I'm You're gonna... gonna die if you don't start doing stuff. Okay, I like I fine. I'm gonna make twice. giant sharp glass things come out of my arm and I'm gonna attack it, I guess. Are you are you shooting it like an assault rifle or are you just like are attacking like it, it's a sword? I don't understand. It's a sword type deal. Like it's coming out of my arms. Blade arms. Really, Got it. Really sharp glass arms. All right, so... I'm trying to cut some bitches here. You rolled a nat one, so you trip and fall, and you've cut yourself. Oof. That doesn't sound right, because I'm made out of glass, but okay. Yep, you managed to do it somehow. That's how bad it was. Uh, It hurts, but you're otherwise, like, it's not, like, super, super bad. It's It hurts, but you'll be okay. You'll make a full recovery, probably. Uh... Nomu number one. Uh, he's going to shoot more bugs from his mouth. He's just vomiting them up. Nick, you're up, buddy. Um, so, I, Nick, I'm sorry. I don't have any idea what to do. Let's see. I, uh, did that, does that, is that wall that I created a minute ago of lava, is that still in effect? I would say no. I would say that it went back down after you right. killed all the bugs. So I put it out. All right. Um, dang it. Because I'm, I'm trying to... Because I don't want to kill these guys uh, necessarily if I'm starting to think. Um, let's see. Uh, I try, I, this time I raise the wall of lava and I force it down, like move, moving towards them like a, like a wave. So All I can right. Get them on the back foot for a minute. <laughs> the bugs this time are have gotten smart to your tricks, and they just fly around the wall. Uh, well, I, was more, it, I was aiming for the no moves with that, mostly. But. Oh, okay. Well, I was getting to that. Uh, it does, in fact, hit no moon number one, the one that's shooting the bugs. Mm -hmm. uh, however, you realize that just in time before it hit it, he used his earth assault power to raise a complimentary earth wall to block it. Uh, however, he is now on the defensive. Um, what I'm going to do is jump into the store whose window I just smashed. Uh, I'm, I've found the manager of the store, and I'm going to give her a stern talking to. Excuse me, madam, but I bought this Casio wristwatch here several weeks ago, and it still doesn't work. What do you mean? Of course I don't have a receipt. No, it wasn't bought at this store. Get, let me talk to your manager. I don't care. Call up corporate. Uh, Jasmine, you're up. Um, I'm trying to exchange a watch. Okay. Glasshole, go. 
I don't know. I can't. The only thing I can think of is maybe we can merge glass and magma to form a tougher substance. I'm sorry. Are you are you telling magma magma hole magma asshole to do this, or are you just assuming that y'all are gonna do that? I'm gonna ask him. I guess I don't know if it'll work. Okay, you successfully explained that you want to combine combine your powers somehow. Mm. Uh, do you agree, Nick? Um, I mean, honestly, like depending on how long we've been working together, I would be all for trying to help us see some <laughs> help achieve some kind of volcanic glass thing. You know, like some kind of obsidian. <laughs> okay, fusion fusion style, baby. Uh, I don't know. It's up to you, GM. You decide um, something. So, based on this role here, uh, Nick, you've raised a wall of magma, and Jasmine has started firing glass shards at rapid pace through the magma. There go superheating, superheated, sharp, pointy glass bullets of mag with magma at the tips. I'm sure, glad uh, we practiced this in advance. Basically, gives you you have basically armor piercing rounds. Yeah. Um, See if it hits, baby. Who are you aiming this at, by the way, Jasmine? Uh, can we agree that we're aiming it at the Nomus? Which yes. one? They're not standing next to each other. The one that's not near civilians? That would be neither of them? Yeah, neither of them are near civilians right now. Okay. Okay, do you want to do the demon head one, then? Uh, yeah, I think that's one that's been being the most annoying, right? It yeah. it hits! Congratulations! It deals a bunch of damage. We haven't even gotten to one of his quirks yet. He has not successfully used it yet. It's bad, though. It's real bad. If he oh. does it, you might die. Like, the whole city might die if he uses it. <laughs> I'm really trying to get, to get him to fucking use it, and it's not. All right, so he's hurt. Uh, he goes down to a knee. He's definitely not defeated. As you know, the no moves are really tough. Like you're gonna need you're gonna need to like bust out the big guns and really you like you're gonna have to end it fast and hard, just like the way I like sex. Uh, uh I rolled a Nat one. I was unsuccessful in getting a refund for my shitty Casio watch. So I uh, am going to pick up the manager by the throat and start squeezing the life from her. Uh, Nomu number one, uh, he's going to use Earth Assault to create a tremorous shockwave towards the both of you. Woo, net 20. However, I will say you all dodge the attack successfully and successfully counterattack uh, with your magma bullet glass thing. Uh, and you deal enough damage, he's doubled over in pain right now. You, you can't tell he's in pain because he's a fucking bug-eyed idiot. But he's the grimace on his face, the super grimace, is... Extra grimacing. Extra grimacing. Like, I think we should capture it. I think what I should have done was make that power grimace. I should have made him, like, the one from McDonald's. Like, just a big fucking <laughs> purple idiot. You know what? That's what it is now. It's grimace. McDonald's grimace, and he's frowning at you. Uh, so, yeah, he's doubled over. Nomu uh, number two is in the process of come of uh, standing back up, but he doesn't quite get there yet. Uh, Nick, you're up, buddy. Which one are we trying to capture? All of them. We don't want them to do any. We don't want them to hurt anybody. I don't know if you can get all three of us in one go. Right, well, since you're actually actively Nomu's. killing someone, oh. um, that's fine. Which which Nomu is closer? Or actually. Yeah, uh, the, 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 the one that's in pain, I'm going to deprioritize for a second. The other one, uh, the one that you said uh, seems the most dangerous, uh, I'm going to try, if, if I can, to run some magma under the street and try to drop them into a magma pool. Whoa. Was that, was that Nomu number... Which one was that? Bob Nomu. Demon yeah. Head Nomu. Yeah, oh, one number was, one, number two. Yeah, the one you said seemed the most dangerous, like... Yeah, he's uh, he's bad. He's bad. I need you all to look at this real quick, though. Can't see it. Look at those arms. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta, I gotta go to the other room. Hold on. Look at those monkey arms. Gross. 
Uh, okay. You create a pool. Or Nick, are you still here? Yeah, no, I've got, I've got a headset. Okay. I, was, I, I, didn't Nick, get, I didn't get the image. You'll have to send it to me later some other I, way. It's fine. Nick, uh, he, I'm sorry to say, you create a pool of magma, but he avoids it before... Oh. Just as the concrete underneath him gives way into the magma, he 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 tucks and rolls to the side, uh, narrowly avoiding it. Um, and bad sauce, bad bad sauce. He uses his other quirk that he has not used yet. It's called meteor. Uh, he begins to call down the forces of the cosmos upon you too. You can look up above and you see. What appears to be the shadow of an immense meteor falling from space at a rapid pace to the city to smash it in its face. Uh, you guys are in big trouble here. Uh, Jasmine, glass hole. I'm going to run to the lady you're killing. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to attempt to cut your arms off. <laughs> what? what the fuck? Just escalated quickly. <laughs> uh, you rolled a nat one, so you fell down and you cut yourself again. This time it hurt a lot. Like you were incapacitated briefly. Okay. Um, I noticed this happening to you. Like I turned my head towards you, but then I also noticed a massive shadow appearing on the ground. I'm going to look up, and then I look at the Nomu, and I realize what it's done. You fool! You kill us all! I told you not to use that one! Now, when I was a child, but <laughs> through five years old, I woke up and I had these terrible monkey arms. Doomed to wander society upon the fringes of good and evil. No one would have me. Nobody loved the monkey-armed boy. So I resorted to a life of crime. And now that I've gotten my refund for this Casio watch from this heavily asphyxiated woman, I will dedicate myself to the forces of good. And at least until I stop this meteor. It's about <laughs> to kill us, heroes. <laughs> So, Nick, you're up, buddy. Uh, like, I don't think, unless I can do something to melt the meteor from this range, like. I don't know. It's falling from the atmosphere. Like, I don't know what, I don't know what we're going to do, honestly. I have monkey arms. Can but... you, <laughs> yeah, this, can yeah, this you is... like, um, just start pouring, just start shooting up, like, Tons and tons of magma to like slow it, maybe try to like slow it down. Oh, I don't boy. think you're that fast, and I also think that would cause you that would probably uh go beyond the capabilities of your Plus ultra. Uh, abilities. Plus ultra, yeah, bitch. I mean, maybe if Midori go beyond, I mean, go if beyond, you two, Nick. if you two can think of a clever solution. There's probably a way to do this if you both go plus ultra. I've already thought of it, but I can't. I can't. You know, hold You're your hand. You're here now. You're here now. You're working with us. You don't want to die. Suppose. Well, it's not my turn. I will uh, roll. Let's see if my character thinks of that. Hmm, he's still thinking about it. This. You still have two no moves as well. I don't. Yeah. You know, just stand. Nick, I don't know what we're supposed to do. Yeah, this is my problem in all D&D games. Um, <laughs> well, also, I'm not... This isn't D&D, buddy. This is My Hero Academia, and you never give up just when you've reached your limit. You will go beyond. You will save everyone, okay? Um, like, I, I have ideas, but they're really ridiculous. My, mine's ridiculous too. I have monkey arms and I flung poo at people. Like, yeah, let's, bring it. Well, I mean, I'm talking about I'm talking about like breaking the power scaling here. Like, uh, that's the mm -hmm. one thing I'm not I'm not sure about how, um, like what level we're at. But I mean, I guess I like one. Th oh, man, you see, the thing is, I don't, I don't, I, I'm not very good at the the cooperative thing. I don't. Yeah, if you. 
Uh-huh. We're okay. bad at this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, you might you might have to try to see if you can deal with the no moves. Uh, I am going to attempt to use my lava ability to create a superheated pocket underneath my feet and launch the ground that I'm standing on into the air towards the uh, towards the falling meteor. With you on it? Well, I mean, yeah, it's not going to do no, much good. No, no, ah, no, what? don't do, don't do you. No, no meta gaming. <laughs> uh success i would say like uh you get as tall as far as high up as like five or six stories okay and what like where how far away is the meteor uh i would say it's it's uh several miles above the city at this point it's it's through the atmosphere it's a ball of fire it's huge it's an extinction level event okay um Let's see. Uh, if they, I, I, I'm going to use my ability to see if I can somehow get closer to it. I want to try to get to it. All right. I'll, uh... Uh, you push your abilities, but you're not able to get much further up. Uh, oh. Jasmine, what are you doing? You going to do something? Uh, I'm going to tell him he should have launched the Nomu up into the atmosphere <laughs> instead of him. It's a little. All right. Well, I'll, I'll allow you. If I'll the allow you. Go ahead, Glasshole. If the Nomu dies, then then it stops. We we don't know that. If but... it, well, it's not gonna reach our atm- if it when it reaches a certain part in our atmosphere, it'll keep falling down. But if it doesn't reach it, reach it, then it should be okay. All right, so we need we need to kill the Nomu. Yeah, we need to kill the Nomu. All right. Well, from my perch up here, because I'm just I'm imagining some ridiculous spire of. Uh... Well, I'm, I'm like I'm yeah. like using I'm my body stamina. as like a light, and I'm like the, literally making flash. I just rolled number, number one, uh, the one that has the bugs that comes out of the mouth. Uh, he charges only to fall into the lava pool from earlier. Oh, uh, so he's in the lava pool. He's not. This isn't going to kill him, but he's in, he's otherwise unable to continue. Yeah. All right. Perfect. So, bug mouth man. Uh, well, let's see here. Last guess. No, he attempts to spit out some more bugs as he sinks into the lava, but it doesn't work. Um, the other demon head Nomu, um, hears Monkey Army's command to call off the meteor. However, Nat 1, it is unable to do so. This thing's (laughs) gonna come down regardless of what happens to the Nomu. Um, my turn. I'm going to call off the Nomu! Because I'm the evil guy that they listen to. Uh, that's something I should have probably done last turn. <laughs> yeah, you keep trying, buddy. I forgot that I was their villainous guy that they listened to. So I'm going to call it off and actually command Demon Head Guy to... Ooh, uh, ooh calling another meteor is not going to help. Let's see here. Mm-hmm. Nope, I'm just going to tell him to quit. Uh... I was going to also suggest that uh, Jasmine goes plus ultra and creates a Todoroki-sized shard of glass that's skyscraper-sized with a magma-coated, super-hardened, diamond-like tip that would split the meteor in such a fashion that would cause it to disintegrate midair. Uh, oh, just like in One Punch Man. But you're too ta- you're too far away. You didn't hear me say any of that. Was I too far away? Um, we've got no, community. you heard me. Okay. Is it my it's turn? Not your turn, Nick. Yes. I think it's your turn again. Because Jasmine just fell down and cut herself again because she can't fucking walk. <laughs> All right. Um... Wait, no, I'm before you. You sure about that? I, yeah, I, I, I don't know what order we're doing stuff in you... anymore. I cut fine, myself fine, Jasmine, go. It really went. doesn't matter. Okay. We're playing a game. <laughs> <laughs> Move it along. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do exactly what you said. I'm going to create a giant... Got like. Well, wow. I need you to roll with disadvantage uh, because this is a limit-breaking move. You need to go beyond your capabilities and what you thought was previously available to you. You have to go plus ultra in order to do a task of this magnitude. Let's see if you'll do it. Now that's a good roll. 
All right, so how big were you trying to make this shard of glass? Skyscraper big? It's about half a skyscraper big. So okay. we'll say it shoots past Nick. Uh, it's about 20, 30 stories up in the air. At this point, the meteor is getting dangerously close. Like, it's definitely broken the sound barrier. Like, you hear nothing. All you see is doom. Nick, what are you up to, buddy? You see a shard of glass flying past you. Well, if it's wedge shaped, then I kind of, I think I figure out what she's trying. Oh, to do, do you? Let's see, because yeah. that's fucking <laughs> metagaming, damn it! Yeah, I guess you, I guess you figure it out. You're smart yeah. enough to know. <laughs> All right, yeah. so I'm gonna, I'm going to jump on it and sl- use it to slide down. I'm gonna coat it with lava, like an extra, like an extra layer. Uh, reinforce cool. it as I go. Uh, and like, so you're basically like, uh, what is it called? Surfing like down. Heat tempering. Yeah. Yes. Harding it. You're making the glass somehow even harder. I don't know if that's even scientifically trash. Yeah. And, and <laughs> also <laughs> simultaneously. I'm, I'm trying to add a, you know, like a, whatever, like a shell. Simultaneously, shell I was going to say simultaneously coating it with a layer, a protective layer to do its job. Are you sliding back down to earth on this? Yes. Like up? Oh, very cool. Because I have a plan when I hit the, when I get to the bottom. Super success! You're you're at the bottom. What are you doing? All right, I am going to use the magma to create a, a base beneath it and push it up higher. Wow. Okay. Wow. All right. A success. You managed to get it way. I mean, this thing is super far above the city so if this hits if this hits your target uh the the damage will be kept to a minimum and it'll it'll you know at worst it'll you'll have like big chunklets of hail that's actually meteor so this is gonna be a tough one jasmine are you doing anything before i roll the last time no i'm just focusing on keeping keeping the glass hard (laughs) yeah. <laughs> Keep it hard, glass hole. <laughs> you heroes are amazing. I totally underestimated the the powers of class one A and you A you A holes. <laughs> what are you even helping with? <laughs> uh, well, I just rolled for what I want to do, and I successfully escape with my no moves. Uh, you'll never catch me, heroes, and. You successfully smash the meteor and it explodes into a cacophony of awesome blowy up things. You did it! Yay! Yay! Better game me. <laughs> All Might congratulates you, but then um, he wags a finger at you because you were unsuccessful in stopping his favorite coffee shop from getting smashed window in and now they're closed for a week and for repairs and he can't get his favorite cappuccino so where were you all might plus ultra <laughs> yeah, thank you so all much might. i look really uncomfortable for playing and listening to the show this week don't forget to check out our charity for best friends animal society uh it's a it's a charity that's dedicated to ending no kill or ending kill shelters by 2025 super awesome cause we love it a lot check out the description for information on that Buy shit from our T Public store. We take whatever we earn from that, double it up, send it to them as well. Uh, check out our other show, Jasmine. What's it called? Dark Rye. Close. Pokemon After Dark Rye, a no holds barred, no nothing podcast where we talk about Pokemon and hurt the ones we love. Check out Nick at Facebook and MySpace and Twitter and Instagram and Twitch and Patreon. All that stuff will be in the description as well. Uh, before we go, uh, Nick, do you have any f- passing words for us as we go into uh, that night? This is fun. Yeah, I got, I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I appreciate that. Uh, it's, it's kind of fun. Yeah. <laughs> uh, less, less enthusiasm than I intended when you play it back to me. Uh, Jasmine, uh, any final words? Don't be afraid to go beyond. Plus Ultra. Ooh, uh, this has been Let's Die, Survival Comedy, and if we're gonna die, let's uh, die, together. die together. Hey! Yay! Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Close enough. Bye. <laughs> Bye!
Later.